What's going on guys? Rivero here. Welcome back to one of the final, the final, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Minecraft map update. We have defeated Ganondorf. We are at the top of the tower, but as it turns out, Ganon is trying to crumble us within here. Ah, oh, I forget how loud those are. <laughs> Wish I could do something about that. Meteors are falling. And we have a timer on the side, and we must escape. But let's jump off! Nope, we cannot do that. No matter how much we try, we cannot get away. If we were to die from meteors, we will respawn. I ended up using a fairy by accident. But yes, we will respawn, and the timer will reset. Zelda acts a little bit different than the original game. If you were in front of her, she'd keep following you, but you actually have to stay near her during this scene. And yeah, we're just making our way down to the bottom floor before time runs out and we crumble within the rubble. Get over here! But yeah, everything has been completed. The whole story is finished. We just have to make our way out of the castle in time and we finally win. We got like one more level left. Gotta watch out, this has a bit of brokenness to it. Let's go! No time to admire! Though it does look pretty cool seeing all the rubble here. <laughs> we could take a little bit now, we don't have time, we got only a thousand seconds left. We got a redead here. If we crouch, we can actually get by without being spotted. Let's go! We're almost out! Hurry Zelda, why are you so slow? And... We are free. It's over. It's finally over. You're useless. Useless. <gasps> what was that sound? It's up to us to check it out. This may not be over. Ah! He's alive! <laughs> Ganon! There's no way he's going to hold me back again. This time we fight together. And here we are. Ganon. We have lost the Master Sword. Good thing we have the Big Goron Sword. So he has a couple attacks. He has the first main swing, which takes health. And then a second attack. I'm only surviving quite a bit because of the Elytra has a bunch of protection. But he does do three hearts of damage, so you do want to be careful. Let's go ahead and hop into a creative mode here. If he runs into one of these pieces of rubble, he will break it, similar to the iron knuckle, and items will appear. So in that one we had some arrows, whoops. We have some other things like bombs, fairies, magic, but I think we'll be fine for this. Oops. We have a few ways of attacking and stunning Ganon. If we shoot an arrow at his face, he will shake it off, giving us a chance to hit his tail, which is his weak point. If we hit him with a light arrow, he will be stunned for a little bit longer, giving us more time to come back here and hit him. We can also use Deku Nuts once he gets turned around. Right here. Yeah, there we go, he gets hurt. And I think it does actually stun him like that too, similar to the arrow. Fire and ice arrows do the same thing as just normal arrows. You can also shoot his tail. Same thing for the hook shot, I believe, if we hit his... yep. His snoot. And same thing for his tail, it'll take a damage. And lastly, I think the Dins Fire only does affect his face. You can't actually hurt his tail with it. Yep. And the mirror, or any kind of shield, does work as an adult to block his attacks. Yep. Though if you're too much on one side, or if you're not looking at him, he will deal damage to you. How are we doing on health? Okay, we still got two fairies. And yeah, I think that's about it. So then all that's left is to just make your way around and behind him and hit his tail ten times. And that'll be the halfway point of the fight. Dun, 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 dun. Ouch. If you're like if you're not paying attention, and if you just like sit here, he's gonna destroy you. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Yeah, so I may make this boss fight look easy, but trust me, if you're not careful, you can just get destroyed. Jeez. 
There we go, we've hit him ten times, we're halfway through the battle. If we stay in Dilly Dally for too long, the fire wall will come back up. But if we get over here, we are completely safe. <sighs> so how's your day been? Once we get back into the arena, the firewall reappears, and we are ready to defeat Ganon once and for all. Oh god, we're out of fairies. <laughs> Any of the items I showed before do not work on the tail anymore. We can still stun him with our items, but nothing can deal damage aside from the Master Sword. I'm really happy with how this model turned out, by the way. Like, I know that I say this every time, but come on. This thing is beastly. His arms move and everything. It's so cool. Ouch. We gotta hurry, we're running out of health and time. Ah, that one hurt. We gotta run through his legs. There we go. Not too much more. Run through the legs. There we go. Maybe two or three more shots. There we go! Zelda uses some light magic. She's using her power to pull the evil king. Use her sword and deliver the final blow. You okay? You seem a little tired. Another point where like you can literally just sit here forever and nothing will happen. Um That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Ignoring that, we deliver the final blow. And that is it. The rest is up to the sages. Now open the sealed door and send the evil incarnation of darkness into the void of the evil realm. All six sages use their power to open the portal. And Gadendorf has been sealed away. Curse you, Zelda! Curse you, sages! Curse you, Rivero! Someday when the seal is broken, that is when I will exterminate your descendants, as long as the Triforce of Power is in my hand. And that is it. We have finally sealed away Ganon. We give Zelda the Ocarina, so she can send us back in time. And all that's left is the staff roll. We are basically done. <laughs> so crazy. I know I said basically, but pretty much we're done. I still have a lot of stuff left to do, such as bug fixing and a few small additions that I want to include in the map before I release it. And then I will be releasing it to anyone who has donated first so that they can bug test. But after that, it'll be released free to the public. I'll admit, still doesn't really feel like this is over. <laughs> Mainly because I still have a lot left to do. I want to make a trailer for this still, and I gotta promote this as much as I can, I guess. And then even after that, I plan to work on my own games outside of Minecraft and outside of a specific thing. Like, I want to create my own original stuff, so we'll see how that goes. One other thing, just to point it out because I thought it was kind of funny and I wanted to include it just because. In a certain point of the cutscene here, you can actually see Dompe right there in the corner. <laughs> I felt like it was wrong to not include him. Pretty much all the NPCs are here, except for a few that aren't quite as important, but I feel like Dompe is a pretty important character to the game. And while he is dead, he still remains as a spirit. But man, this cutscene took forever. Like, I managed to get it done in probably like three days or four, maybe, but... Whew. So many entities to summon, and move, and position, and animate, and make the camera follow them, and make the cuckoos fly, and make the Gorons dance, and make a model for the Metagoron. <sighs> Lots was done for this cutscene, so I hope you guys love it as much as I do. I guess I should additionally mention that the player head that appears on the armor stand here will actually be the players, not just mine. So hopefully you guys like that little extra addition. Done! We finish the game and we end up in this little hub, basically. If... I have a little message if you guys want to read that. Um, 
And if we want to, like if we didn't completely 100% the game, we can go back to before fighting Ganondorf, the one in the tower. But we will not do that because otherwise we get sent away from here. We got a few things. I have a quick way to get to the Wall of Donators. Thank you guys so much. So many people. It's crazy. I really appreciate it. And over here I have a link to the Patreon. You can click all of these if you actually are interested. And if you do get to this point and you really enjoyed the map, do consider donating. It very much helps out, especially for the future, whatever I make later. Over here we have a little music area, which has all of the songs in the game. I better not hit too many of these because I don't actually play the music in-game, I put that over the video, so... But yeah, and then we have one that's choose a random song, so it'll choose one out of each of these songs every time you hit this button. Pretty cool, I like it, it's a very nice way to listen to all the music if you're interested. And then over here the models, the final little area that we haven't shown. We have some buttons at the bottom to be able to run down here if we need to. And this contains not all, but most of the models that I've created. Mainly enemies, but there are a few that aren't enemies that are pretty cool still. Each one summons and kills all the other models. Just to keep it from being super laggy or anything, that way we have everything still running smooth. And I've grouped a few things together, like Skulltulas are all visible right here. We have the like-like, and it's at its different animations. Stalfos, four masters, wall masters, the tiny masters, the shadow, all kinds of things. Wolfos, pose, so many pose. <laughs> Scrubs, moblins, shell blade, spike, torch slug, the owl, <laughs> King Zora, Big Octo, King Dodongo. Some of these are scaled a little bit differently than the original, so if you think Dodongo looks a little bit smaller than usual, you are correct. Lavagia, this is just one head, one body part, and one tail. Normally it has multiple tails. Bongo Bongo, this is a bit smaller of a scale, which is really cool to look at it better. Ganon. <sighs> I could look at this all day. <laughs> Twinrova. Morpha. Baronade, Goma, Dead Hand, Dark Link, Flare Dancer Head, Iron Knuckles. I forget how many Iron Knuckles there are, I didn't think there would be four. <laughs> Freezerd, Bubble, Anubis, Tail Parasan, Pasoran. I hate that word. <laughs> Stinger, Resolphos and Dinolphos, Goma Larva, Beery and a Berry, <laughs> Dodongos. Tektites, P-Hats, Octorok, Leavers, and Gwei. <laughs> that's it. Very soon I will be uploading this world for the whole world to see and enjoy and play. See you guys soon for when that happens. Let's play again! <laughs> see, you see you guys then.